Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews, night three of the 31 Days of Horror. Like I mentioned in the first video, um, I'm going back and covering some movies that I've reviewed in the past, simply because, you know, it's been a long time since I've watched them, I want to get new, new thoughts on them, I want to, you know, just see if my thoughts on a movie have changed over the years, or if, you know, it's still pretty much the same. So what I'm reviewing tonight is a movie by Brian Pollan. This is Fetus. I gotta say right off the bat, when I, when I first saw this movie, I saw it on a VHS. I have I got a VHS copy from uh, I can't remember who who did it, but uh, it's still over on my shelf over there. So this is my first time seeing it, like essentially like c clear. You know, because this is a DVD from Black Lava. Um, this is a nasty movie. Always has been. Um, once you see it, like, in a bit more clarity, it's even a little bit more nasty. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, basic plot of this movie, you got this guy whose uh, his wife has died, like, in childbirth. And he essentially goes about trying to resurrect her. You know, he keeps, like, hearing voices in his house and everything. And so he ends up, yeah, killing a bunch of people, doing, like, black magic-type rituals. Um, it's twisted. Very twisted. But fun. Am I going to say this is, like, the greatest Brian Pollan movie? No. You know, I haven't seen some of his later work. I've seen, um, Bone Sickness. You know, I like Bone Sickness. This is, I'll say this, this is a definite step up from Bone Sickness. But, is this high art? No. You know, let's be honest, if, if you're watching, uh... A Brian Pollen film, you're watching it for splatter, and you're just gonna have a good time and just have a blast. Um, all in all, a really solid, fun little gross out. And, um, yeah, this one wipes out babies. You know, there are certain characters and certain, like, creatures or whatever that tend to be, like, almost, um, untouchable in horror. Uh, not here. Yeah, they, they, yeah. You end up with a lot of dead babies. <laughs> it's, it's twisted. It really is. The acting, it is what it is. It's independent cinema acting. Um, no one seems to be, like, hamming it up or anything. Everyone seems like they, they, are trying to make a good film. So, you know, that got props there. Um, some of the writing is actually really good. There's a whole scene where, um, you know, this guy and his wife are talking like about the, like this coming up baby. And, you know, it's, it's, it's realistic dialogue. So take that for what you will. The gore in this is above and beyond. This is really rough stuff. You know, um, if you're a gore hound, no problem. You'll, you'll just, you'll just sit there and have a blast. If you're not, it, it could, you know, yeah. For rating, honestly, I give this five out of 10. It's middle of the road. Um, it's not like the epitome of splatter, but it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. And all in all, you know, a good little film. So yeah. Fetus by Brian Pollan. 5 out of 10. Good stuff. That's it for me. See you tomorrow.